can feel the tension in the streams. I'm worried something bad is gonna happen. There you are, Rover. Remember to check your terminal signals and wear the Academy's protective suit correctly. And don't forget to stay hydrated. Now, I have experiments to run. Take care. The Academy has noted a concerning rise in tacit field activities. Please use caution when exiting the city. It's just Baija being Baija. She's a little awkward with showing care, but I think it's cute. Anyway, Rover, quick, tell us what happened. at us again? Oh, those jerks! GM, the general. Jean C, the magistrate. And Jue, Jinjo, sentinel. Is there any kind of connection between them? Connection? No idea. But I did hear General Jian used to be a military doctor. Hmm. Speaking of that, I think we'll need to start with a bit of Jinjo's past. Storyteller near the theater once told us something like this. The Honorable Madame Jinzi, our great magistrate of Jinjo, was handpicked by Sentinel Jur. Her status as the Sentinel's appointed resonator is rare among all past magistrates. Our Jinjo was leaderless for years until Jur finally chose her to be the next magistrate, and she answered the call. To further elaborate, we must start with the battle beneath the crescent. The Norfall Baron, scarred by countless wars, discarded weapons scattered like bones. Our soldiers had fought to reclaim the land for years to no avail. Overthrax, the dreadful Threnodian monster, fed on the frequencies of weapons, turning our fallen soldiers into deadly tacit discords. General of the Midnight Rangers, Geshu Lin, bravely rose to confront the threat. As Twin Moons aligned, General Geshu Lin vowed to vanquish evil, raising his blade against the blood red crescent that foretold destruction. His sword blazed with black flames, laying waste to all who dared stand in his way. Victory seemed certain. Drops fell upwards as in the past. Monsters raged, loyal souls fell to blood soaked sands, infernal carnage. Issuing his last command, Geshulin demanded all soldiers stand firm no matter what happened. Sacrificing his body to the black flames for power, Geshulin charged at the Overthrax with all his might, and he was never seen again. After the fall of their leader, the remaining soldiers despaired until the deafening roar of Chin Long struck like lightning. A lone wolf bravely stood up to lead a hard-won retreat. After the battle, that young man who tamed the wind ascended to fame, becoming the new general of the Midnight Rangers, selected by Sentinel Jur. On the other hand, General Geshu was blamed for the massive losses that occurred under his command, earning him a notorious reputation in Huanlong. That battle struck us hard, but our sentinel rose from its long slumber to select a new magistrate who guide us into the future. Despite the previous disaster, Jinjo was off to a promising start under our sentinel and the new magistrate's guidance. The people held hope for a better tomorrow. Whoa! 
first time hearing about all that. Uh, maybe the Sentinel had its own special ways of picking candidates. Or maybe it is their incomprehensible ways that set these divine beings apart from us. Their thinking tends to be elusive to the average person. Yeah, true. Wouldn't be surprised if Jue decided to make me the magistrate one day. Not gonna lie. I understand your concern, Rover. Madam Jinshi was only a teenager, and she was suddenly selected to be the magistrate. It must have been so difficult for her. I remember people were skeptical when she first took office. Despite her achievements, many believed she lacked the necessary experience and authority in the political realm. People only showed their respect to Madam Jinshu because they trusted Jue's judgment. Seriously, Lord Jue knows how to choose him. Our previous magistrates were all top-notch at running the show. And Madam Jinshi, she's already beat the city a well-oiled machine in no time. I have a mental overclock just trying to keep up with all that paperwork. She was made for this. Now, what is that saying again? Real gold never loses its shine. Rover, since you were asking about this, did you get clues from your past from Madam Jinshi? The Black Shores? Doesn't ring a bell. It sounds like the name of a place, but I've never seen it on any map. That's Flower. And it's only a photo. And I can't tell where it came from with my ability. Hmm. We're still in the dark about Fraxida's plans. And the Norfolk Barrens is too risky. The Black Shores seems to be our only option now. But if we are to look for them with only a photo of this flower... It's going to be difficult. Since it's about flowers, we should go ask Grandma Lin. Yes, Grandma Lin runs a flower shop. I'm sure she can give us some tips. <laughs> You're making me blush a little. Grandma Lin loves listening to storytellers. I think I saw her earlier. Let's go look for her.